Today I have completed this uh, tool I've been making for last week. It's uh, sort of a regular, <laughs> yes, regular uh, squareness comparator, and uh, it has all required features and uh, uh, some some more. So let me uh, disassemble these and uh, show you. What I'm talking about. Okay, so um, this uh, configuration, when the uh, test indicator is uh, uh, oriented in uh, this angle, this or similar angle, is uh, normal. In this case, you can adjust uh, the uh, align the position of the stylus uh, against the uh, rounded radial part using the um, dovetail, wrong key, okay, so this is adjustment, okay, it uh, adjusts the position of the stylus uh, vertically and uh, horizontally. Uh, number two, this is uh, fine adjustment, so instead of moving the uh, dial, to zero, you can move the position of stylus and uh, get the hand showing to the zero. And uh, the last uh, adjustment point is this uh, screw that fixes the vertical position of the head on the post. Okay, this is uh, everything pretty common and uh, nothing, nothing interesting. Uh, what I have done with this uh, design. I uh, made this part, this adjustable part, uh, more complex. So, actually, it is two parts assembled together. Let me remove the dial test indicator. Okay, so I will show you the uh, features I'm talking about. Okay, so this dovetail is uh, Oriented, uh, oriented on the, uh, with the angle, okay, and uh, this part it has its own dovetail, dovetail clamp, okay, and uh, this dovetail clamp is oriented uh, vertical. So let me take off this part. Actually, I will take the head off. Okay, so this part. Is sort of extension of this part. It's actually extension. So this part is its own dovetail. It's uh, mounted on this part with a single screw and then index pin. Okay, so I just put the index pin into the index hole and fasten this screw. Okay. If here I remove this part, I have the head with the dovetail clamp, which is uh, accept the test indicator in vertical position. Okay. What is this for? I want to use this tool for this dovetail as well. So if I put the test indicator into this vertical dovetail clamp and I clamp it, now I can use my squareness comparator as a regular height comparator. Okay? So I can compare heights of two pieces or check the mm. uh, parallel surface, if it's uh, parallel to the uh, surface plate or not. Okay, so this is, uh, yeah, this is my design. Anyway, let me uh, show you pretty quick all the parts. had to make for this 
two. So this is extension head with the uh, uh, dovetail, and this dovetail uh, is made completely on the bandsaw. I saw this uh, flexure design somewhere long ago, and I decided to make it uh, uh, for this purpose, and uh, I'm happy it works. I already uh, made dovetail clamp for dial indicator holder for my lathe lathe okay so this goes to the tool post and this hole clamps the uh, dial indicator but this is pretty big design and uh, yeah it works uh, here the five millimeters uh, dovetail is pretty small as uh, and as you can see it has a sort of a flexure gib yeah, which can be can be moved towards the dovetail and it clamps the dovetail on the test indicator okay this movement is pretty small so there is not much risk of breaking this uh, flexure uh, movable movable uh, movable point okay and uh, since this was made uh, on the bandsaw, it was uh, easy, it was fast, and uh, I thought, uh, why wouldn't I make uh, two dovetails and combine two parts? With one part, which would hold the dial indicator in client, and the main part, which will, would hold the dial uh, test, test indicator vertical. Okay, next, uh, here we have uh, adjustment adjustment screw with uh, uh, pressed in hardened pin with a rounded head rounded end and uh, corresponding to it there is a uh, hardened pin which is let me show let me disassemble this so this is uh, the uh, piece of string uh, spring steel Right. This is uh, Stefan's Stefan Gottes Winter design, and I just stole the design from him. This uh, my small, as I think, for myself improvements. <laughs> Maybe I just complicated stuff, uh, but uh, yeah, I like it. So this is just a regular uh, spring steel, and uh, here uh, we, we see the threaded hole for the adjustment screw and a corresponding pin, polished uh, hardened pin, which accepts the end of the hardened pin on the adjustment screw. So when I adjust it, the movement is back and forth. And since both are hardened, there is no harm, and the uh, feeling of the movement is pretty smooth. Okay, and this part has a uh, uh, dovetail with the uh, flexure clamping as well. Okay, so uh, actually, the uh, for me the main goal with this project was to check if I can make the uh, tool which uh, should make pretty accurate work uh, if I am possible to make it with a band saw. So all these parts were made with a band saw, right? So I can uh, tell you what exactly was made not with the band saw. So uh, for sure these uh, uh, screws were made on the lathe. Uh, this hole was, uh, was uh, bored on the lathe. Uh, and this post was uh, torn and uh, polished on the lathe and these uh, grooves were milled with the uh, ball nose um, end mill on the milling machine all the rest was done with the benzo and uh, after benzo, benzo the outer surfaces were uh, grinded on the uh, belt center that's it. I did not. Uh, I did not touch it with the uh, file. Yeah. 
So, ah, uh, one more. Yeah. After the burn, so this this uh, this uh, part, this recess was uh, milled as well. Okay. So all the rest, this part, this head, these parts, uh, this uh, pretty complicated part was made on the benzo. And uh, uh, actually, uh, I don't have footage for, for uh, making all these parts. Uh, not uh, turning on the lathe, not uh, uh, milling on the mill. Uh, I have only footage uh, of the making this uh, uh, this part. So you will be able to see if you want uh, how this um, dovetail clamp and uh, fixture was made on the benzo. And uh, the last for this uh, uh, squareness comparator, uh, this is just pressed in um, bearing balls, ball bearings. Uh, the post is fixed with the screw. And uh, this part is uh, O1 tool steel, uh, which was hardened, a little bit polished and uh, screwed into this position. So uh, that's it for the first part of this video. And uh, if you want, you can see how this uh, work was done on the benzo.
Yeah, and this is after some filing, some cleanup, deboring. So now it's ready to be drilled for the dovetail. And uh, ready for accepting a small 440 set screw.